Good evening. I'm Lena Wynn. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Vaughn. President Obama held a briefing at the Pentagon today to update the war on ISIS. But when the president opened the room up for questions, several were pointed at the so-called ransom paid to Iran and his decision to commute over 200 jailed prisoners. KCAL 9's political reporter Dave Bryan live here now with a look at how the president went on the offensive with his answers, Dan. He did. He talked about ISIS for sure, but actually, as you indicated, most of the questions were on Donald Trump and other political issues. Of course, what you would expect today. President Obama declared at his Pentagon news conference that ISIS will ultimately be defeated. But many of the questions he faced were focused on Donald Trump and the controversial payment of millions of dollars to Iran this year. President Obama defended his decision to pay Iran $400 million in cash last January, around the same time that American prisoners were released from Iran. We announced these payments in January, many months ago. Uh, there wasn't a secret. We, we announced them. For all, to all of you. Critics charge it was a thinly veiled ransom for American hostages, which violates U.S. policy. I absolutely think this was a ransom. The president said the money was paid in response to a claim filed by Iran with an international tribunal to recoup more than a billion dollars that had been deposited in the U.S. by the former Shah of Iran for military equipment, but was frozen by U.S. officials when the American hostages were taken by Iran radicals not ransom, the president insisted. We do not pay ransom. We didn't hear and we don't, uh, we won't in the future. Precisely because if we did, then we would start encouraging uh, Americans to be targeted. Nonetheless, Republican Donald Trump told his supporters at campaign rallies this week that he actually watched a secret video of the $400 million currency exchange in Iran at the time the U.S. hostages were released in January. The tape was made, right? You saw that with the airplane coming in, nice plane, and the airplane coming in, and the money coming off, I guess, right? That was given to us, has to be by the Iranians. But CBS News reports there's no evidence any such video ever existed. And the video his campaign says Trump was talking about, this video, shows the hostages in Switzerland, not the transfer of funds in Iran. And the president shot down the Trump suggestion that the November elections might be rigged. Of course the elections will not be rigged. What does that mean? <laughs> the federal government doesn't run the election process. Uh, if Mr. Trump is suggesting that there is a conspiracy theory, that's ridiculous. That doesn't make any sense. When asked about his concerns about Donald Trump's ability to handle the nation's nuclear arsenal, Mr. Obama had this advice. Just listen to what Mr. Trump has to say and make your own judgment with respect to uh, how confident you feel about his ability to manage things like our nuclear triad. The president was also questioned about his action this week commuting the prison sentences for 214 federal inmates, 67 of whom were serving life sentences. As successful as we've been in reducing crime in this country, uh, the extraordinary rate of incarceration of nonviolent offenders uh, has created its own set of problems uh, that are devastating. Uh, it is disproportionately uh, young men of color that are being uh, arrested at higher rates, uh, charged and convicted at higher rates, and uh, imprisoned for longer sentences. Now, President Obama has now granted 562 commutations, more commutations than the previous nine presidents combined, and more than any individual president in nearly a century, all in the name of criminal justice reform, Lena. Yeah, Dave, so President Obama has been very active lately in criticizing Donald Trump. Yeah. Why do you think he waited until after the primaries to do that? And do you... Do you expect him to continue being being so active about it? Well, you know, in politics, timing is everything. Right. And this is a good case because the answer to the first question is easy. President Obama waited to really start criticizing Donald Trump until after the primaries because being a Democrat, anything negative he would have said about Trump then during the GOP primary season would have actually helped Trump's cause since Republicans are not big fans of the president. Now, the reason he talked about Trump at the news conference today, <laughs> quite honestly, is because reporters kept asking him questions. 
questions about Trump or Trump related issues. It actually seemed to me like he wasn't all that anxious to talk about Trump uh, today. But that could certainly change as the campaign heats up, Jeff. You know there's plenty to come. Sure is. Okay, Dave, thank you.